opportunity for all is the mandate of democracy and freedom of choice is the mantra for development. Yet a sizable section of the world's largest democracy still awaits its choice. The people look forward to the government for action, but their hopes are dashed many a time. For decades now, the government has been making services available to its people through welfare policies and schemes. These schemes are directed towards improving the quality of life of people, especially at the grassroots level. But the benefits of such initiatives do not reach the beneficiaries in the intended degree. there are leakages in the system that divert and consume a major chunk of resources. The lack of accountability and transparency in the system causes low public expenditure outcomes. As a result, acute problems like poverty, illiteracy, poor health and unemployment still prevail and retard the nation's progress. Schemes require effective implementation and implementation requires proper follow-up through feedback channels. The feedback is usually delayed or the channels fall short of a proper functioning mechanism. The inaccuracies in administration of various policies and schemes are a plenty. This calls for bringing accountability at all levels as the need for more efficient and effective governance is felt severely. Democratic governance underlies the spirit of contract and gives citizens the right to demand accountability from public actors. Social accountability tools entail a broad range of actions and mechanisms that can be used for bringing accountability and transparency. These tools are an effective medium of improving service delivery, enhancing public expenditure outcomes and empowering the poor. The more you involve local communities, so the better so the impact on the ground is. And that's pretty evident why it's why it's so So because it provides more transparency to you know, so what government does. You know, so it also gives you know, so the local people a say in how you know, so actual so the assets, the money is being used and distributed. That's Center for Consumer Action Research and Training, popularly known as CART is one of the program centers of CUTS International. CUTS has been involved in enhancing transparency and accountability at various levels of uh, governance through increased people's participation from its inception life. This was done through uh, various campaigns, uh, surveys, and also using various social accountability tools to begin with the budget analysis and various other social accountability tools. CART had undertaken two pilot studies using social accountability tools. One of these pilot studies was carried out in the Chittorgarh district of Rajasthan. The social accountability tools used here were citizen report card and participatory expenditure tracking survey. Citizen report card is a powerful tool that provides a systematic feedback from the end users. It also provides a thorough basis and proactive agenda for implementation agencies so that they can improve delivery of public services. Participatory expenditure tracking survey is a quantitative exercise that traces the flow of resources from the origin to its destination. 
It also determines the location and magnitude of leakages in the service. These tools were used to measure the effectiveness of an ambitious welfare scheme initiated by the Government of India, the Midday Meal Scheme. Rural India primarily depends on an unpredictable agricultural output. Food insufficiency and its social and economic implications are quite obvious. To bring about an improvement in the situation, the Government of India runs a midday meal scheme in rural schools as a part of National Food Security Program. A research bracket of over 200 schools was chosen in the Chittorga district to evaluate the implementation of the scheme. Citizen Report Card was used to weigh the effectiveness of the scheme in these areas. The Participatory Expenditure Tracking Survey was used to track the flow of funds and food grains. It was also used to gather information regarding allocations, transfers and expenditures. The findings of the survey drew attention to a series of problems that needed to be addressed at all levels. There were excessive delays in receiving funds. Schools lacked the basic infrastructure to support the scheme. And absence of key personnel took a lot of productive time of teachers. As a result of the survey, these problems got due attention of the policy makers and the service providers. Immediate action was taken to improve conditions. These included arranging funds for schools three months in advance, thorough checking of the quality of food grains and weighing it before delivery to schools. The improvement in basic infrastructure for cooking and serving the meal was some of the other positive impacts.